Today, I've got a nice big hindquarter here in front of me off a of deer. And I'm going to break that down for you. I'm going to show you where each roast is, how you can use those roasts, slice them into steaks in different ways you can use it, and uh, the simple ways to clean it up and get it broke down. First, this hindquarter's uh, still got some fat on it, still got some sinew. I need to clean it up first. There's a little bit of hair here and there. To get the best finished product, we want to clean this up some. So that's going to be our first step. Basically, I'm just going to need to take this knife and just start cutting away some of that fat. And we don't have to get it all right now. We can clean it up some once we get into, into separate roasts. But this will give us a good start and show us where some of those lines are and where those muscle groups break down. Same goes for some of this silver skin. I'll probably pull a lot of this silver skin off once I get the roast broke down. But we'll get some of it off now just so we can get started. You can already see where some of those muscle groups start to break down. And that's where your roasts are separated. Basically, we have several different cuts. We've got the sirloin tip. This is kind of a rump roast here. Bottom round makes up this chunk here. And then this is your top round here. Shank is also a great cut to use for some slow cooking stuff, but we really want to get to this top round. Basically, we're going to need to find a seam here. And I think it's right here. And I use a, what it's called kind of blunt dissection. Instead of using a knife, I use my fingers a lot. It actually works pretty well. You can just pull those apart. You'll usually need your knife a little bit to kind of get started at times, but then you can see I can just use my thumbs to pull some of that apart. You can see already that's that top round right there starting to come loose. Work on it some more here. And just keep kind of working it away, working it away. You'll see this cut here, it's called the eye around, and it's an excellent cut. It's not very big, it's actually kind of like a hidden tenderloin is what I like to call it. It's really good just on its own. Let me see if I can pull that out real quick. There we go. And that comes off kind of the bottom of the bottom round. It's attached to the bottom round. That's called your eye around. It's a great little cut. You can cut it in medallions. Or you can use it as is. I like to grill it as is. It's a wonderful cut. All right, that top round is starting to come apart a little bit. Get my fingers back in there. You'll see some of this other stuff that you can get in there and just cut out. There's actually a little gland in there too that you'll want to pull out. You'll see it. Oh, there it is right there. Just a little small gland. I don't know if you can see it very well there, but that kind of can taint your meat a little bit. You just want to cut that out. You'll know it when you see it. It's a little harder, a little chunk. All right, I'm just going to keep working at this. Don't be afraid to get dirty. Like I said, you can really see where those muscle groups break down. And that each one of those is kind of an individual roast. So that's that bottom round that's just getting ready to slide off there. So let me go ahead and get rid of it since it's coming off right there anyway. So that's kind of your bottom round. It'll need to be cleaned up quite a bit. But as you can see, that's a good piece of a meat. Great as a roast. You can use it a rolled roast. Also makes great jerky. Um, so that's another good cut right there. Slide those out of the way a little bit and keep working on this top round. Clean that up a little bit on this side. Get some of that silver, screen, silver skin and fascia off there. And that cut should start coming right there. What you want to do is you'll find that bone. There's the bone. Basically your femur's right in there. And you'll just want to cut that right off the femur. The sirloin tip's starting to come off as well. Watch your fingers, but work around that ball socket, that end of that femur, and just keep working both those steaks or both those roasts off. We've pretty much got that off, I believe. Just need to come right around here, and there should be a seam here if I can find it. 
That's why it pays to kind of spend some time up front cleaning some of that stuff off because it gets in the road. There, now you can kind of see where that seam is. And that's where that top round's going to come off. All right. The top round is off. All right, let's keep going. We still got another couple of cuts to do on here. This sirloin is a pretty good sized chunk of meat, about the size of a football, about the shape of a football too. It's great for roasts. Also great for jerky and stuff like that as well. But just because of the shape and how it comes together, it really makes a really good roast if you like a roast. All right, keep working on that. Just keep, just keep working around that femur. As you can see, we pretty much got it clean. Set that aside. Pull that rumpo off. And like I said, that's just good for jerky. It's also good for grind, stew, any of that sort of stuff. There's a little more. There's always some kind of chunks of meat here and there that just make great stew meat is what I call it. Or use it for kebabs, all sorts of stuff. Just basically some chunks you can also throw it in the grinder if you're making burger. So I've got my deer hindquarter all broke down here. And uh, we got the, the, the separate cuts here. This is the eye around. It's uh, actually tucked inside underneath the bottom round when you butcher it, as I showed. It makes a great steak as is. Uh, Slice it into medallions as well. It's, it's fairly tender. Um, makes just a wonderful, wonderful cut. This is the bottom round, another one that you can uh, use as a roast. You can slice it into steaks. Slice it thin for jerky, cut it up into chunks for stew. There's a lot of stuff you can do with that. Think of it as a round steak. Top round, similar deal that sits up on top. Fairly tender cut, great for making steaks, and that's what uh, we're probably going to do with this one. And then we've got the sirloin tip, kind of the shape of a football. You can see how I filleted it off the thigh bone, the femur, and uh, you can just basically cook it as is, or you can tie it with some string and make it into a nice roast. It'll hold together real tight, cook it slow, it'll be great. And this is my favorite cut. It's the shank. As I showed you, it comes off. It's still on the bone. You can cut some of this off. It's real sinewy. It's got a lot of silver skin and stuff in there, and it's a pain if you try to cut that apart and grind it. Instead, cook it whole, just like this, real slow, real low temperature, moisture, and it's a wonderful cut. Seriously, my favorite cut on the deer. Way better in a backstrap, if you can believe that. And this is just as some, uh, some stew meat that I'll cut up. I'll slice up into chunks and basically use it as a stew meat or maybe throw it in the grinder. All this stuff still needs to be cleaned up. Obviously, you want to get some of this fat off. Um, the wild game fat doesn't taste real great. So you want to clean it up, get some of the silver skin off, um, maybe some of this dried meat where it dried a little bit. And then we'll uh, slice it up or we'll get it in the freezer.